She was a talented pianist who played all over the world. But Sonia Banduil's music career took a life-changing turn during a weekend visit to Boston. Video shows Sonia and her boyfriend looking for a place to eat. We were just walking down the street. I saw a menu of a restaurant, and then there was not even a warning sign at all. Suddenly, the building collapsed. Sonia was buried underneath the rubble, her body crushed by huge chunks of stone. She was rushed to the hospital in a coma. I don't remember anything. The next thing I remember is just waking up about two weeks later and I was in the ICU. Her parents say it's a miracle she was still alive. Angels were there and no, no doubt, no doubt. Then came a heartbreaking development. Her middle finger, so necessary to playing the piano, had to be amputated. When it comes to my career being a pianist and literally revolving around my fingers, that's when I thought, oh, I really don't know how I'm going to make this work. Shift over to the left. Sonia side. underwent months of rehab at Boston Spalding Rehabilitation Hospital. Now, five months later, Sonia has returned home to Dallas, where she continues with physical therapy. But one question haunted her. Could she ever play the piano again? The answer, absolutely. Playing beautifully with five fingers on her left hand and four on her right. We were there as Sonia took her first lesson with an acclaimed pianist, Baya Kakuberi. Sonia is learning how to compensate for her missing middle finger. I have to rewire everything. My brain's just having a disconnect. Like, where is this finger? Emerging from that terrible day, dreaming of once again returning to the concert stage.